my name's Sarah Vaughan and I'm the author of Little Disasters or Autopsy and Drum. Well, I'm a novelist now, but I think really I'm a journalist at heart. Um, one of the things I love about writing the sort of novels that I write um, is that they require quite a lot of research and so I can go out and pretend to be a journalist again. I can ask lots of questions and I can find out the story. Um, Lockdown has taught me, really taught me about the importance of family. So friends are important, but lockdown has really crystallised for me that that um, family is, is the most important thing. So it's a difficult one, isn't it? I think any novel that allows me to escape um, from my current environment and absorbs me and is immersive and that just makes me empathise with other people. So it can be a thriller or it can be a different sort of novel. Having said that, I am increasingly reading more and more thrillers. Uh, France, you have the food, you have the wine, you have the climate, you have Paris, uh, you have, normally have the rugby and you didn't pick up Brexit. So yes, France all the way. Um, I think novels are there to have to be touched, to be read in bed, perhaps to be read in the bath, to have their spines cracked, to be loved, to be thrown into bags, to be picked up at any moment and to be enjoyed. Um, and I think with a hardback sometimes, although they might be beautiful, they feel, feel a bit more unapproachable and certainly it's harder to read them in bed for instance. Um, so I would say paperback all the way. to be Twitter for me, um, it was a really good way to connect with people. I think Instagram is gentler, it's prettier and actually it seems to be used by a lot of French book bloggers um, and it's a really uh, lovely way of connecting with readers in different countries. So I'm not very good at Instagram but these days that's what I prefer. Um, letter and I'm really sad, I worry that we're losing our skill um, at writing letters and losing our familiarity with, with doing so series but I would say that because Anatomy of a Scandal or Anatomy of a Scandal is currently being filmed as a six-part Netflix series and in fact Little Disasters or Dr. Zundram has been optioned to be a TV series as well. Over here at least nobody is going to the cinema these days but irrespective of that um, music's played a big part in my life. Uh, music has the ability to to, to really move me to, to you know have uh, for me to have goosebumps on the back of my neck. Well, in the same way as singing, I think my grandmother trained as a professional singer, I can hold a tune, and I'm also quite rubbish at dancing. I'm too self-conscious. I think if I was better at dancing, I'd probably say that.